don't you move it. Everything hurts and I'm dying. Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Angel season 1 episode 19. This next episode is called Sanctuary and are we going to try and find some sanctuary for Faith? Like is this what's happening? Are we going to try and find her a place where she can be super zen and try and start her redemption arc? Like I don't know. I hope that's what's happening. I really want to see a redemption arc for faith like i want to see how her breakdown is going to continue in this episode like her admitting that you know she just wants to die which is just very sad and awful for her but i think it's a step in the right direction so i want to see how that concludes and what she's going to do in this one like how are they going to handle this like is she going to become part of angel like is angel gonna like get her under his wing and show her how she can live with herself after like killing humans because angel can relate and he knows this and he had to work through that once before so he's able to you know help her out with this so is this what's going to happen like maybe until the end of the season she's going to be here and they're going to be working on her self together like her becoming her old self or a better version of her old self where she's gonna be the slayer again and she's gonna help people and all that. I'm also excited to see if Wolfram and Hart are gonna be coming back. Like, I mean, I'm assuming and they're gonna be like super pissed that Faith has betrayed them and didn't actually end up killing Angel. So I wonder what they want to do next because they definitely want Angel dead. So are they gonna hire someone else or something else to kill him or what's going to happen next. I don't know, but I'm very excited. We had Christian Crane in the previous one, so I'm very happy that they brought him back. So it fills me with hope that we get to see him again. And yeah, if you guys are interested, the full length reaction for this is gonna be linked down below. Let's just jump straight into it. <gasps> oh, he brought her home. Oh my God. Okay, so what now? It's okay. Is it though? Oh, he's turning his back to her, like he's trusting her a lot. Angel. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Nothing. Okay, so she's not, you know, fully normal just yet. And by normal, I mean that she doesn't feel like she wants to kill someone. Yo, that sounded like a knife sound, like a nice knife sound effect. What was that about? Does she want to slash someone's throat? I don't know. Maybe. Oh god. Okay. I, so she's staying at his place. She looks awful and still has some homicidal tendencies. How is this going to end? I don't know, but oh my god, this is so much fun. Look at her poor face. Like, oh god. She really hit her. Oh. <gasps> Okay, how am I not supposed to read that? That's like so fucking big on the screen. What is gonna be in this one? Clyde with my face. It's not your fault. At least you only got the elbow. Well, if it's any consolation, it really does look like you are tortured by a much larger woman. <laughs> oh. She's still here, I assume. Uh... He gave her his bed. I don't understand why the woman who brutally tortured me last night, this morning, gets pastries. It's a new technique we're trying. You were the one making the case for her rehabilitation. It wasn't too long ago. I had full feeling in my right arm. She wants to change. You set her free. She'll kill again. Are you sure? Maybe she can change. I mean, I understand Leslie completely. Like, yeah, after what he's been through. He'll come around. Wesley? Are you sure? Sure. People always get a little funny right after they've been sadistically tortured. Well, you'd know. I need you to sign these. <gasps> Kate! Yay, Kate. she's back! How you doing after your dad died? We're just gonna move past that, huh? Put him in the hospital, stole his keys, his wallet. Oh god, we'll is Kate gonna come to Angel and then just see her it's there? Girl supposedly has some kind of supernatural powers. <gasps> really? Of course, that's why she's here. Gone all scully. Anytime one of these weird cases crosses anyone's desk, you're always there. Why is she scully? Wouldn't she be Mulder? Scully's the skeptic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Huh? Mulder's the believer. <laughs> Scully's the skeptic. Let's go, Kate. Oh God, where is she? Jesus Christ. Please tell me she just went to the hey. toilet. She just had to pee. It's fine. She just had to pee. Maybe poop. That's fine. Everybody poops. Oh, there she is. Hi, hi, hi. Faith, I need you to give me that knife. <gasps> She's holding a knife? Oh my God, Faith, I need you to calm down. Okay, we're good. 
Okay, we're fine. We're safe. Should be resting. She's roaming with the mark. We hired her to kill him. I believe I covered that with the assassin part. And he ends up inviting her to spend the night. How are we gonna fix it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm scared. <gasps> oh, Jesus she Christ! Will kill her. Oh, the poor dude. They really let her do this to him. You killed a man. I don't care. You don't get it, B. I don't care. That haunts me to this day. But it's cool. Like, she's finally dealing with it and we get to see it. Oh, this is so exciting. I love it. Where are you gonna go? Back out in that darkness? How'd you like it? I don't think she liked it. Maybe she felt powerful, but I don't think she liked it. Help me. <laughs> hey, sweetie. <laughs> That's kind of funny. She just like punches him so hard and she's like, help me. Like, okay, hon. We're gonna try and help you, but you're not making it easy at all. I'm sorry, who this? Who are these people? Hello, Wesley. Oh my god, it's the fucking council people. Oh my god, that took me so long to get. <gasps> these fucking assholes are back. Jesus Christ, they wanna kill. Is he gonna try and help them kill Faith? How would you like to come home, Wesley? To England with us. No way. No, he's part of the show now. Don't don't you dare. One that can now be corrected. With your help. Oh god, they wanna kill Faith. We know where she is. And yeah. You have access to her. No, he's, is he going to do it? I don't know. No. <gasps> I couldn't possibly. Yes, Loyalty yes. to a vamp. So, how does this work? There's no real simple answer to that. And maybe for the rest of your life. How does this work? Uh, Are you saying I gotta apologize? Thank you. <laughs> you gotta apologize? Yeah, bitch, that's like the least you can do. Gee, really sorry that I tortured you nearly to death. Oh, first off, I think I'd leave off the G. And secondly... I'm not gonna make it through the next ten minutes. So make it through the next five, the next minute. I don't think I can. Yes, you can. It's supposed to hurt. All that pain, all that suffering you've caused is coming back on you. Feel it. Deal with it. B, how am I ever gonna make things right with her? Faith, this isn't about Buffy. I screwed her. Not to mention her boyfriend, only <laughs> him, literally. Faith, you and I never... Uh, no, not you, the new one. Oh, God! Angel, Another thing so you can sorry. apologize for. No, hey! There. You can't She said sorry. Good. Really good. <laughs> oh, sweetie. God damn it, this is... Uh, yes, there's too much going on. I'm so overwhelmed. I apologize if I... <laughs> Fuck is that? Ah, I hate it. You how, doesn't have like four eyes. Oh, I'm so. Oh, oh, oh. It gave me the chills. It actually gave me the chills. Or Slayer. Oh, I hate it. I hate this so much. I hate this episode so much. That's just too much. Everybody wants fate that. Jabber with it, don't you? Yes, I know how a needle works, you dumbass. There she'll begin her rehabilitation. <laughs> Oh. Does the council really believe she can be rehabilitated? Is that really what they want to do after they tried to kill her last time? I have some conditions of my own. Oh, god damn it! I mean, I get it, but god damn it! I've done more good while working with the angel than I ever did while I was in the council's employ. They'll make every effort. No. You, you, is it a thing? You, is it a thing? I hate it! Why does it move like that? Ah! I hate it! Why are they doing it like that? Safe. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that's doing nothing to it. That's that's tragic. Oh, is it dead? Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, cool. That's that's fun. That's really fun for her. Why did this creature have to have red blood? <gasps> Bro, what the fuck? I hate this show so much. Fuck this show. Why are you gonna do this? Why are you gonna? Why are you gonna do that? I fucking... I'm pissed. I'm actually pissed. What are you doing? Yeah, it's we, a long story. We were attacked. We. Yeah. You and... Uh. Hey. <laughs> I actually think I can form a thought right now. <sighs> Giles heard that I was worried about you. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'm so Apologize to me, I will beat you to death. Oh, he's making it so much worse. I hate it. This is not gonna happen. You're gonna stop. Oh, because you're gonna have to. Don't you? Don't you move it? Oh. 
Sorry. <gasps> what the fuck? Sorry? Yes, you. I. I. I, I fucking hate it here. I hate it here so much. This is. I want to scream. Just wanted to be alone. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Wesley. First assassin kills the second assassin. Sent to kill the first assassin. We didn't assassinate <laughs> anyone until we hired the second assassin to assassinate her. It's a mistake for us to try to work outside the law. He's being ironic. Not at all. No, I don't think he is. Oh, they're gonna get Kate there as well. Oh, they're fucking... It's, it's too much. They, they're gonna... Did she cry? How she did. Was? Heaving bosom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> me not to go all schoolyard on you but you hit me first i can't be in your club i've never murdered anybody oh they'll expect to find you gone and her drugged how many three hello buffy wesley i love you so fucking much oh i love wesley so much thank god thank god <sighs> it wasn't for her i know it's because i trust you well more than three gun toting maniacs at any rate oh i love them so much i'm about to cry to oh god I despise you, you and everything you represent. And when I say represent and thing, I do mean your clients. Mm-hmm. Can't be that as it may. The creatures who murdered your father. They could have never been brought to any kind of traditional justice, even if they had survived. She's with him. Oh, fuck. I fucking hate it here. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't want to watch this anymore. I don't want to watch this anymore. You throw me off the roof again. You kind of jumped up on your own, but... I gave you every chance. I tried so hard to help you, and you spat on me. I've lost battles before, but nobody else has ever made me a victim. And you can't stand that. There's just pain and hate, and nothing you do means anything. You can't even... Shut up. Just tell me how to make it better. Oh, God, what is it? God damn it. Oh, my God. They're fighting together. Or running together, I guess. Oh, that's bad. You stay here. Okay. Oh, God. Is she actually going to stay there? Oh, my God. Buffy, that was amazing. What now? Bastard. Oh, he's so fucking brave now. I love Wesley so much. What? How is he somehow my favorite character now? <laughs> 180. Uh, are you sleepy now? Are you gonna go to sleep now? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? That was amazing. Oh, his face is gone. God damn it. Where did she go? I'm sorry. Is that Angel? <laughs> what is this shot? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. That was so goofy. <laughs> Arrest him. Start with aiding and abetting a wanted felon. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Faces east give you a great view of the sunrise in about four hours. What? That's so, so ruse. Buffy. She's here? <gasps> Wait, she turned herself in? I'd like to make a confession. No way. No way. This was about saving somebody's soul. That's what I do here, and you're not a part of it. That was your idea, remember? We stay away from each other. Her idea! I'm sorry, I remember you re redoing a day without her input. I trust him. I know him. You moved on. I can't. You found someone new. I'm not allowed to, remember? You don't know me anymore, so don't come down here with your great new life and expect me to do things your way. Go home. Genuinely, what the fuck? Faith wins again. What does this have to do no. with Faith? Oh my god, Buffy, I this is so bad. What a fun end. I love when they get to interact. It's always just so happy. I got a big mouth. <laughs> do you want to go after her? Yes. But he can't. She has a chance. She has a chance. What an insane episode and what an insane conclusion to Faith arc. Like, my God, this whole two episodes on Buffy and two episodes on Angel have been like one of the best arcs or like mini arcs I've seen on this show so far. Like that was actually just so well done. And I loved it. Like, I think Faith is such a fun and interesting character and I love her. And it's very interesting to see how she 
ended up actually turning herself in at the very end like that's really mature of her like I can't believe she actually came to the conclusion like an episode ago she was torturing Wesley and now she's like okay I'm ready to face the consequences for my actions and I mean it's good to see that she's taking responsibility for her actions but I kind of wish she had stayed with Angel and I think Angel would have been able to help her more with her like guilt and like her finding peace like she does have a shot at finding that again but I don't know I just thought maybe her and Angel could work on it together but it's fine it's all good and yeah this was an insane episode oh my god like what do I even talk about like this was just so much has happened and my brain is just so scattered about all of this like Buffy showed up like that was crazy I can't believe that she showed up right at the moment when they were hugging like oh god that must have been such a gut punch for her but also I mean she moved on with a new guy so it's not like she could say anything about it even if Angel and Faith were a couple I mean I guess of course she can be very upset about it because of everything Faith has done to Buffy but if Angel wanted to move on with her she couldn't say anything about it I can't believe how mad Buffy was like I mean I get it completely like what Faith did to her like stealing her life and then just causing havoc there and I mean Buffy almost died as Faith like she was almost killed and then what Faith just gets to live as Buffy for the rest of her life like that is just so fucked like that is truly a horrible thing to do and yeah I get Buffy's anger but I mean come on when they started shooting on the rooftop Buffy was straight away like helping her and like tackling her and you know distracting the council guys so when push came to shove Buffy was helping Faith even though she was threatening to beat her to death <laughs> like a scene before that I did think that the conversation Faith and Buffy had on the roof was very interesting when Faith was saying like you don't know what pain is like oh what did she say let me look it up yeah so she was saying that like when you, that Buffy has no idea what's like what's it like on the other side where you have no control and there's only just pain and suffering and that she can't even imagine what this could be like and it's like Faith honey you didn't get to meet Buffy during season two during the Angelus thing during the beginning of season three where she was Anne and living in LA I think or wherever like it's kind of funny how Faith things that Buffy's life is just so perfect like that Buffy is able to be this good girl all the time and it's like not even difficult for her and that her life is just amazing and like everybody loves her and she's just so perfect and she actually thinks that she's never been through something like this traumatic like she didn't get to see how Buffy blamed herself for Jenny's death how she had to kill Angel like she actually had to sacrifice the man she loved so that she could save the world and then she you know spiraled out of control and was just doing these crazy things like even in when she was bad right like she was just going through a lot because she died and like the way she was dealing with it wasn't also the best like she was leaning on Xander and making Angel jealous like she made some not great choices like of course the difference is that she never went super far into the wrong choice like she never killed anyone and she never had to deal with that kind of trauma but it kind of would have been interesting to see how she ended up dealing with things if Ted had been a human and not a robot because it's interesting that Buffy kind of forgot that feeling because for a while there she thought that she killed someone and I guess maybe that also influenced why Buffy never could understand how Faith doesn't care like you know how she said that like oh I killed someone but I don't care I think for that to Buffy was unfathomable because she, Buffy herself was able to or wasn't even able to but was ready to face the consequences for killing Tad like she accepted the fact that she killed a human whereas Faith went the opposite way where she just sort of denied it and was like no like it, it doesn't matter like it was an accident like I don't care blah 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 but of course she does care and I just think Buffy like couldn't understand that so it's interesting that like in a lot of ways they've been through similar things and they just don't understand the, the other person like where the other person is coming from like Buffy can't imagine the way Faith deal with everything and she just thinks that like she's unredeemable I guess or she's just like angry at her and I guess from Buffy's perspective she gave so many chances to Faith and she kept spitting in her face and kept 
exaggerating the bad things she's been doing. And then from Faith's perspective, she can't even imagine Buffy ever screwing up or making a mistake or having any sort of difficult thing she has to deal with. So yeah, it's it's very interesting like how they are the same different sides of the same coin with like similar experiences but just very different responses to them i don't know i think it's very fascinating and i think and i hope we get to see faith again like i hope this isn't the end of it i mean she got put to jail for murder i mean that's you know a long sentence and the show is not gonna go on for another 20 years so yeah i don't know if we get to see Faith again, like, is she gonna be able to get out of jail, or are we just gonna see her in jail? I don't know, or, I mean, I guess this could actually be it for the Faith storyline, and it would be a good and satisfying conclusion to it, but I just love Eliza, I love Faith, and I would love to see her again. But yeah, also the whole Buffy and Angel storyline was kind of insane, oh my god, their conversation at the end was kind of messed up. Especially Angel saying like it was Buffy's choice for them never to talk and never to see each other again. And it's like, bro, what are you even talking about? First of all, it was you who wanted to leave Sunnydale and come to LA because you didn't want to be near Buffy because you couldn't handle it, which is fair, like I understand it. And then when Buffy came here and said that like we shouldn't see each other again because it's too hard, it's not like he wasn't agreeing with it. And also, of course, Buffy changed her mind as soon as they were able to be together. Like, when there was the possibility for them to be together, Buffy was all in. And then it was Angel who made the decision that they weren't gonna be together. And Buffy doesn't even know that. Like, he made that decision without her input, without discussing it with her, or making a decision together and now Buffy doesn't even know that that happened and it's like my guy like yeah of course she acted like that because you stared at her in Sunnydale didn't talk to her and just like were super quick with her when she came in you talked for like five minutes and then she left so it's just like yeah you can't really put that on Buffy you can't really be like oh you wanted this like no, you were the one who made this happen, Angel, not Buffy. But yeah, I mean, that, that whole interaction this episode was just so stressful. Like, Buffy hitting Angel, Angel hitting Buffy. All of it was just insanity. And my brain cannot just process this. Like, how did we end up here? Like, we had I Remember You before this on Angel, like, where they interacted. And now we have this. Honestly, can Buffy never show up on Angel again? Like, this is just so traumatic all the time. Like, I just want Buffy to stay away from Angel. Like, I just can't deal with this anymore. Like, the only time I ever want to see them interact again is if they can become a couple. Like, that's it. I just... Oh my god. Also, I gotta say that, like, Wesley might be my favorite character on Angel so far. I mean, this and the previous episodes, I have been in awe of him. Like, he's been so amazing. Like, in this one... I can't believe he went against the council. Like, mister, I'm telling the council about this. Like, I'm going to call the council. Like, why are you not telling me? I'm for the council. Like, that guy was like, fuck the council. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. He was like, I'm trusting Angel. And I'm going to protect him and do what he wants. And he went against the council. Like, they were actually willing to offer him his job back. And he was like, fuck you all. I can't believe it. I can't believe he did that. Like, I actually was so stressed about, like, his decisions because, I mean, he's been through an insane trauma. Like, what Faith did to him is absolutely fucked up. So I would have understood if Wesley had betrayed Faith, especially because the council was like, oh, we're gonna bring her back to England and rehabilitate her. Like, if he had believed them, then that wouldn't even have made him a bad guy, right? Because he thought that she was gonna get the punishment she deserves for, you know, murdering people. But of course, I mean, the council just wanted to kill her. Like, that's their whole shtick. It's like, oh, let's murder the Slayers. Like, they were shooting at Buffy so recklessly as well. It's like, bro, what are you doing? But anyway, I'm just so proud of him. Like, he has come an insanely long way. Like, I can't believe this is the same guy we met a season ago on Buffy. Like, truly insane. Like, his progress is astounding and I love him so much. Like, he was amazing in this episode. We also had Kate in this one just very quickly showing up. I love the scene of Buffy being like, you know who he is? Hey, that's murder, lady. Like, what are you doing? I love that interaction. But I can't believe they brought her back and I guess they kind of mentioned that her dad died. Like, 
I thought they were just gonna ignore that, like, because that happened so long ago. I thought they were gonna ignore that, but then it was Christian Kane who was like, hey, remember your dad dying by the hands of vampires? That was crazy, like, how did they know that Kate knows? Did, did they see Kate kill vampires or something? Like, how did they find this out? Like, that's one of the craziest things to me, that, like, Christian Kane knew that Kate also knows about vampires and I was like, hey, this is our common enemy. And Kate is just like, yeah, that's actually my crush, but sure. <laughs> and yeah, as always, it was very fun to see Wolfram and Hart again. They tried to get Faith killed, so like that was gonna be their big revenge. By that very creepy monster, like, yo, who designed that thing? Because kudos to you, like whoever did that on the costume department like that was absolutely terrifying i absolutely hated it and like the cinematography with like the shots and then like the sound effects that they made absolutely terrifying i was on the edge of my seat so good job but yeah it's really fun to see wolfram and hard and like seeing them become more and more of a threat like they actually sent assassins you know after angel like they sent faith and now they sent this monster like they sent an assassin after the first assassin who didn't assassinate their assassination target <laughs> stuff like that so yeah i'm very excited to see what they're gonna do next i hope they're actually like really building them up to be the big bad so i hope we're gonna see them if not the next episode like then for the finale stuff like what they have in store next i don't know but it's really fun and i really enjoy them so yeah this was an amazing episode it was crazy and insane and scary and nerve-wracking and just so much fun i loved it so much like these past couple of angel episodes have been truly amazing so yeah i'm really excited to continue with the show and see how they're going to wrap this season up because my god the insanity is to the max right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and a huge, huge shout out to all my patrons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I tried so hard but all these scars They cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven It's like someone